I know you think another quarterback, a, a guy, Marshall, Rakeem Cato, is, is a guy that should get more publicity. He's got a streak right now, touchdown pass in 34 consecutive games. Four that? more, and he's going to tie Russell Wilson's record. A very challenging path to start him for Cato, though. He has faced a lot more than any defense might present to him. Consider this list. Willis McGahee, Antonio Brown, T.Y. Hilton, Teddy Bridgewater, all from the same neighborhood in Miami where Rakeem Cato comes from. It's a place where in a 13-block stretch, there were 43 shootings during one span, where church organizers tried to put together a three-day cease fighter. It's a place where few get out and make it to college, and even fewer do what Cato's done, become a symbol to a family and a community. I step on a football field, I mean, it's personal. It's personal. Football has uh, been a part of me since I was six. I mean, I love everything about it. I think football took me in. I think it was something. I think I just ran away with it. And that's why I say. Without that, there's no me. There's no I can't care to. We're all from somewhere. This is where Marshall quarterback Rakeem Cato is from. The Liberty City neighborhood of Miami. It may not be the most desperate place in America, but it's one of them. Gunshots, bullets, hammer lamps, police cars, uh, on, on a consistent basis, night in and night out, drive-bys, anything can happen at, at any time. It's hard to find jobs. And you know you live in a public house and you usually have rats and roaches and stuff like that and it's a struggle. With his father in prison, with his family on food stamps, Cato grew up with nine other children sharing a single unit in one of Liberty City's housing projects. The ones I stayed in, they all knocked down and this right here, this is the last little piece of it and this right here, what it was, what it looked like, three bed, three bedroom, one bath, and that's about it. It was a bleak place, but with a path out, shaped by playing a game and a position. They play street football, which is um, tag and stuff, and they used to call his arm the star. We used to stay out uh, and just throw the ball uh, all night, sometimes for two, three hours more long. I just throw the ball and just, and just rep it out uh, on one knee and just and just getting my own strength and just getting better as a quarterback. When he was 13, Cato's cornerstone, his mother, Juanice, died from pneumonia. The loss left the family devastated, but determined. I told him to give me a moment in a room with my mom. I did a prayer, and I told her, I got to I'm going to take care of the kid. And like she told me to. My mother was gone. She could never see me play at all. I had to make her proud some way, somehow. Uh, when she uh, looking down on me, I would just want to make sure she's smiling. And from there, I just knew that I wanted, I wanted to be successful and uh, I make it out. The way out was with his arm. By the end of his senior season at Miami Central High School, Cato had broken the county record for yards, completions, and touchdown passes, while leading his team to a state title. Despite the best efforts of his sister, he did it with no steady place to call home, spending most nights with teammates and their families. I took him and seen him as a brother. I'm like, man, you could just come to my house and just stay and it's gonna be all right. You know, I got you, you know, my mama got your back. I mean, everything, I mean, I mean a lot. They didn't have to do that at all. Uh, I mean, they just took me in uh, like I, I was their own. As teammates, friends, brothers, Cato and Schuler, quarterback and receiver, went to Marshall together. Cato, touchdown! Starting as a true freshman, Cato led the team to five come-from-behind wins and a bowl victory. I think if you go back to that season, I think we were double-digit underdogs in about 10 of those, of those 12 games going, going into that season. So he's just a really competitive guy that, that rallies the troops and, and finds a way to win. 
Over the next two seasons, he was even better, throwing for more than 8,000 total yards and 76 touchdowns. Touchdown, Hurd! Now a senior, he's leading a team, gaining Heisman attention, and is on track to graduate. Rakeem Cato goes the distance on a 63-yard touchdown run. By any measure, Rakeem Cato got out. He left Liberty City, but still carries it with him. It's challenge, it's soul, it's hope. For every kid that in, walks into Rakeem Cato's shoes in those inner cities, there's another 50 of them, unfortunately, that don't make it. He's a shining example for a lot of kids that think there's no hope. I never gave up on myself. Always was positive, very self-motivated, and just it took life as it came to me. And I'm here, uh, I'm alive, and I just thank God for that. And it's a blessing just to be here, and just to tell this story. A player and a person certainly to root for. Cato was the first person in his family to go to college, living out the wish of his mother that he stay in school. He plays this senior season under the motto, L's up, two L's. Love for the game and loyalty to the game.